George Conway reacts to Trump's new argument in the Mar-a-Lago former case. Apparently, I made it onto another Philly D thumbnail, by the way, uh, which is unfortunately one that I would not have even wanted to be on uh, at all um, because, like, it's not it's not even a real news story. And I feel like coverage over it literally makes it seem like it's a real news story. Like, the person that literally slandered me straight up apologized in my DMs and has, like, uh, said that her intention wasn't to... I guess, cancel me or some sh especially considering that, uh, you know, she just lied. Beautiful bastards. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco show. Buckle up. Make let's sure see you how he that covers like it though. Button to let me know you love these big shows and let's just jump into it. Massive political streamer has some There's like another, here's the thing. Like there are, I mean, there are crazy people. There are uh, crazy people that say shit all the like, we don't have to give them real weight. On Piker has found himself on the receiving end of accusations. Accusations that he calls a ridiculous, slanderous lie and in the middle of a, a controversy. Right, so as far as any of the specifics here, it all appears to start with a Discord message from a streamer by the name of Lavloon back in September. With her saying there, I think Hassan's outrage about everything is really funny because he slept with my friend when she was 17 and he was 24. With a streamer by the name of Chud Logic featuring this message in a stream yesterday and the clip showing the message gets around. And as of recording, it has over 160,000 views. Now with this, many were pretty skeptical about the allegations because Lavloon apparently has fought with streamers in the past. And then as it started gaining traction, she changed some of the details in her story, saying in a since deleted tweet that the relationship between Hassan and her friend was legal and saying that her comment was about Hassan allegedly partaking in an adult relationship with a woman five years his junior. With her going on to say on Patreon, Hassan Piker slept with my very young friend when he was- No, the original fucking post literally said that she was 17. That if, if she just like randomly said Hassan Piker slept with my very young friend when he was not so young, uh, nobody would have given a shit. People have been, I mean, it would still, it's still such a weird fucking thing to say. Okay. But like, it's still such an incredibly weird fucking strange thing to say, especially because like, it's not even about me in general, this story was not so young. It was legal, but he's denounced men publicly for doing much less. I don't care about it, and she's never going to come forward, but the fact exists nonetheless. An example yeah. of- This is all she wanted. This blew her up. Negative attention is still attention. Yeah, I know. It's really fucked hypocrisy. up. Hypocrisy. And adding, let me be clear, she's not coming forward because she doesn't care, because none of this was a big deal. It was legal. I barely cared. Hassan did nothing illegal, probably nothing immoral either. And so unsurprisingly, all of this makes its way back to Hassan, and he responds to the allegations in a stream. And there, saying the woman in question was 19 at the time of their relationship. Yeah, I think Hassan's outrage because everything is really funny because he slept with my friend when she was like like 17 and he was 24 what she's basically saying is that i've committed a crime and it is not only a complete fabrication she knows what the truth is and decided to like massage it a little bit so she can slander me with a crime this was such a ridiculous thing to say such a ridiculous slanderous lie i'll just say it like this the accusations are insane, but also on top of that, given, hmm, hard for me not to talk here, but given who the person is, the accusations are so psychotic that it would make mainstream news. And this person would probably, again, get sued for a lot of money. Not by me, by the way, for making the shit up. This person makes it so that other people have an even harder time believing women when they come out on their own. Okay, that's the thing. When you f weaponize shit like this and lie and lie, like so transparently f lie, you're literally f it up. It's already hard enough for women to come out. What the f are you doing? And so as far as where we are now, Lavaloon announced in her Patreon post that she will no longer be streaming and her Twitter also has been privated. And so with everything having played out as it has so far, I, I want to pass the question off to you. What are your thoughts with this mess? And then the fallout from the collapse of the crypto exchange FTX. That's it? Bro, this person just straight up this type of shit sucks because like I feel like when a, when a person like this just straight up lies about something and I don't want this to become an even larger conversation so I'm not gonna like I don't want this to become an even larger conversation so I'm not gonna entertain it I don't want to fucking entertain it any further because it was so obvious it was such an obvious like open and shut situation where this person has a history of just uh, making stuff up about people really serious accusations. She decided to add me into a conversation that, um, into a Patreon post that had nothing to do with me, right? 
And it was a completely made up, it was a completely made up accusation. And there is no, what do you, what do you think? Like you're, you're literally, when you ask like, what do you think about this? Everybody. I mean, it, it's a, it's a fucking crazy. It's a banana story. Like, what, what do you mean? Yeah. People say shit all the time. It is completely outside of my control. You would never have even heard about this if people like Philly D didn't make nothing videos about nothing stories. Yeah, it just sucks that like it escalates it and it it offers like a sense of legitimacy almost. It's just, yeah, it, tomorrow someone could just fucking run and make this. Tomorrow someone could just like run and make up a new accusation. If you were to cover it as anything else, what do you think about the lie someone made up about you? Yeah. If you were to fucking uh, cover all of those things as though, like, unchecked slander is just like a, uh, well, sup, you big beautiful bastards, what do you think about it? Leave it in the comment section below. Like, well, there's more to it, I think. Um, you know, you're you're almost, like, legitimizing it. It's just bait. It's bait. It's pretty, it's absolutely bait. I know the video comments will, I know the video comments will be, like, uh, 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 on my side. Because, like, it's pretty obvious what happened. It's open and shut. I just don't like that it's, like... Um, Turning into even a bigger conversation. Oh, it was just disappointing. <laughs> Denies accusations. One way to put it, lol. I understand it's be it's a breaking story, but everyone involved knew they were bullshit. No need to ask us what we think. This is before I even watched it, so like people had that same attitude as well. I don't know. I would have expected. I would have expected him to at least say like, "Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous." Like, dude, shouldn't be allowed to use the internet at that point. Sorry, sorry, man. This, this is gonna be a, a crazy day, okay? You know, people say censorship, censor this, censor that, right? In my opinion, censorship isn't bad, okay? Okay? When it's for shit like this. Some people do, sh sh shouldn't be fucking allowed to fucking talk on the internet when it's shit like this. That's a fucking disaster. This this is so irresponsible. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Dude, fuck, man. I wish, dude, you know what I wish? You know what I wish? I wish we all had a chip, okay? And we go to the computer, it rubs on your keyboard and you're allowed to use the internet, okay? And when you do shit like this on the internet, and you, just, when you act like a dumb fuck, okay? You slay your chip and it says, sorry, you're up. Yeah, I mean, he's right. It, it's, it's a ridiculous thing, especially made more ridiculous uh, by the fact that, like, that person has, like, a larger platform, you know what I mean? Like, a, a, a relatively large platform. Uh, they could just say whatever the fuck they want, like, and and you know there will always still be some motherfuckers who believe it. You know what I mean? Fucking moron! What you can do is play solitaire and open a paint and a word, okay? And you can open a he's Wikipedia saying, and if you look, he's just no. saying if you just like make shit up that is like um, accusations of criminality about people without any evidence whatsoever, when you know personally that that is not the case, when you're just like maliciously fucking lying about someone. For one reason or the other, and you make up this like gigantic fucking lie, you should not be able to go on the internet. Like when you're doing that, okay? That's it. That's all he's saying. I'm about to go on the internet, I'm gonna suck it. You're dumb as fuck. That, yeah, that, yeah, that's my ticket. That, that's my ticket of the day. That is my ticket of the day. Like he's saying, you should you should be able to censor people like this. Like if someone just goes and fucking lies about the shit, like you should be able to censor them. I don't know if you saw, but ACU a for had a while a whole debate with one of his chatters who said it was a problematic age gap. Are you serious, dude? I don't. I mean, look, absolute worst place to have the problematic age problematic age gap discourse is Twitch chat. Okay, they do not have any fucking life experience. Relationships across the board no matter what, are always going to be so deeply personal that it is impossible to make assertions from where you're standing. And it is less possible when you're a fucking Twitch chatter. Like, why the fuck do I need to hear from a 12-year-old virgin about problematic age gaps? It's nuts. It's not like I'm fucking 45 and this person is 19 years old, okay? That's crazy. The hilarious part about it is the hilarious part about it is that, like, half of the fucking people that say that are also thirsting. Like, openly, they're, like, 19 and thirsting, and they're like, Hassan, you're so fucking hot, while simultaneously being like, wow, that's problematic age gap. Or they're thirsting with someone else. You know what I mean? That chatter was 19 in collage. Collage. Me and my ex-girlfriend had a nine-month age gap. Was that weird? I was practically her father's age. It's true. You really need to re-examine yourself. If that was so fucking certifiably, like, unacceptable, she wouldn't have felt the need to fucking lie and make it illegal, dog.
The main perspective on the age gap discourse is what where it comes from with respect to the power dynamic. That's why I say relationships are so personal and individual. Assessing them from the outside like that, boundaries that you yourself probably do not abide by, is ridiculous. 